This is the TKW TLS Mutual Authentication screencast. This is a guide for configuring TLS MA for TKW and supplier systems, including 111. TLS Mutual Authentication requires that all aspects of the sending and receiving systems are correct and present. The nature of security is that unless this is true, then authentication fails and no messages are sent or received. It is therefore not always clear why mutual authentication is not working, so we must try to eliminate as many of the variables as possible. The best approach, therefore, is to demonstrate that the test tool, TKW, works first, then prove that the system under test works with this verified test tool. The best way to verify the test tool is to install two instances of it and verifiably transmit and receive messages using TLSMA. The TKW to TKW configuration we first need to start with two clean installations of TKW using the latest version of the installer. These two installations may or may not be on the same physical machine. Install them into two folders, one called TKW host and one called TKW client, as we have got here. Firstly, we must install the root CA and sub CA certificates in the trusted certificate store. I'll be using certificates and Java key stores for ITK systems, but 111 equivalents are available for the, in the contrib directory. If we have a look in the contrib directory, we can see under test certificates we have the 111 and here are the ITK ones. As you can see here, we've got the tkwca.crt and the tkwtls.subca.crt. We will be using the Java key tool, which is part of the library of resources installed with Java, to import both these trusted certificates into the local JVM. This will have to be repeated on any subsequent machine if two physical machines are being used. Firstly, we need to import into the CA cert store within the JRE the TKW root CA. This is done using the key tool command where we import the file which is within the um, uh, TLS test certificates folder TKWCRCRT. We give it an alias, it has to be a unique uh, alias name and we, here we define where the, uh, the CA cert store is within the JRE. We have to supply it with a password. This is the um, uh, change it password. And here we have, we're asked at the bottom whether we should trust the certificate. There, the certificate is now added to the key store. The same process must now be repeated with the sub CA. Here's the key tool command with a different the sub CA certificate now and a sub root CA alias to the same CA certs. Default change it password and there we've got the certificate is added to the key store. The list of these key store commands can be found within the documentation that can be requested from the ITK accreditation team, um, which is the documented form of this guide. There is also a resource, of course, on the internet. Now that the CA certs store has been correctly configured, we now must look to configure the client and the host go back to these we're using ADT and we first ought to put in the certificate into the certs folder for reference the certificate will be needed to take taken from the test certificate store and we're using the Java key store for test 01 for the client and we'll be using test02 for the host when we set that up. 
we open up TKW properties. First thing we need to do is hash out the trust store as the CA certs taking care of this. The key store is in the correct directory location but needs test 01 and the correct password. Passwords can be found in the certificate store under passwords.txt Here we can see that the password here is Testo one Moscow. We place that in there. Now this is the TKW properties file for the client side, in which case we need to set up the mutual authentication at serve mutual authentication as no. client is yes. Send and receive TLS both as yes. And finally we need to change the transmitter send URL. Have it on the secure port 443 and we'll save. We now need to repeat this process for the host installation. So if we take the test 02 JKS this time, we're going to put it into the host ADT. then look at the TKW properties file, changing the same things as we did before. Hashing out the trust store and trust password. password is anchor this time the server mutual authentication is yes and the client is no uh, there's the filter client subject DN which is used for 111 systems um, but we're not using here. Down we go to the listen port this time and we want that to be 443 listening to the transmitted messages sent by the client and we'll save. The last step is to choose a message to be transmitted so if we now look in the contrib for test messages and leave the ADT and we'll place those in the client installation Now firstly we'll start the host, and now we'll start the client.
and now we'll transmit the message. There we can see there is a visual confirmation that mutual authentication has been established in the client and also here in the host. The next thing to do is to verify the result by looking through the logs. So if we have a look firstly at the client, go into the log, and we can see here there's a couple of warnings um, and this is about the trust store and the trust, word, trust password not being set explicitly within the tkw.properties uh, file which we did previously so we don't need to worry about that. Um, and if we if we scroll down we can see that we've got five instances of mutual authentication established one for each of the messages so if we go back to the directory we can have a look at the sent messages we can open each of these in turn see that the message has been sent and a 200 received Now in order to verify the client uh, the host side, repeat the process of looking at the log. Again we have the warning and again we have the five instances of mutual authentication established. We go back to this time the simulator safe messages be able to see the counterparties to those that we opened before. End of inbound message and there is the response sent back by the simulator. So we can confirm there that mutual authentication has happened. So the next steps. Now that mutually authenticated messaging has verifiably taken place between two instances of TKW Substitute the supplier system for the appropriate instance of TKW. Remember to set up the identical trust certs and test certs or key stores within the supplier system as were in the associated TKW instance. Now if there are any in issues sending or receiving messages using TKW and the supplier system it will be clear that the former is in error. After successful TLSMA between TKW and the supplier system, then proceed to testing the system using the different test certificates as directed by the ITK accreditation team. These test certs and key stores can also be tested using the TKW to TKW model. In the printed version of this configuration guide, there's a trouble troubleshooting section at the back which will give you indications of possible error messages and their solutions. There's also more information about the key tool.